Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stardeus, and another meteoroid shower is happening Ooh, from the front. Now, uh, construction continues to happen over on our ship in between some episodes, a few things moving around, some of our productions moving around. Actually, I've got to shuffle this over just one tile to give us some space over here. But our production center continues to happen. We are also getting ready to finish up our second warp-ish nacelle, sort of, but not really. I just realized I forgot to allocate some space for an airlock, so I'm going to do that in line with that one. There's a second one over there, but that's okay. This whole area has become pressurized now. We do have some people, I think, without suits because someone sort of looked like they were got stuck somewhere. Taking a little bit of damage, although I don't think anything important is being affected, which is good. Um, we might rebuild this stuff for now because we're still relying on this extra bulwark for safety. But look how much value this extra little thing is. I'm really thinking I might do this as a bit of a redesign where we have maybe, yeah, just like a two tile wide walkway. So this could all be, this could say turned into an interior wall. Two tile wide hallway then double wide um, exterior wall so that we have this buffer for the outer shell of our ship. Um, I'm not going to rush it. You know, we might go around without it for a while. Uh, yeah, too cold over here. I know we do have this new heater because I had something here that generated heat and then that has gone away. So I'm going to try to build a heater over here. Um, but this is what has prompted me to be like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go and build this area over here as sort of our new greenhouse. Um, might mean all our plants die every time that, you know, we get a breach over here. Certainly something Mark Watney could talk about, but um, we'll see how that goes. And yeah, I don't think we need the interior shell buffer over here. So this might be just the single reinforced wall. There could be something that hits us from this angle, but it's far less likely. But yeah, I might end up doing some sort of double buffer. Right now I'm right on the edge of some stuff. Well, I think this is just the no fly area. Yeah, the edge of no fly area. I could certainly construct some more over there, but that's gonna be fine. Um, just mining out some more iron. Did mine out the silver to a pretty low level. Well, to the 100. I mean, maybe we could go more than that, but that's okay. The silver is theoretically being converted. Yeah, there we go into some silver ingots over here. I do have um, these energy efficiency upgrades, actually. So I think that's reactor. I don't think I can make just energy efficiency upgrades. No. So I have the job in here just to stop this place from prompting me things, but the memory compression, the reactor thing, and we might build a few reactors. I am wondering if it might be worth building another big reactor to run this. Oh, oh, at some point, hmm. At some point, I must have reset the priority on the shuttle. How do I feel about that? Now I could go and create the shuttle cargo capacity upgrades. I don't know if there's much point in doing that. I feel like I might rather do another drill. Actually, what I think I'm gonna do is deconstruct this and really hope that I get all the material back. But let's free this up. Yeah, we get, we got some shortages of the gold wire. So freeing that up actually seems like a relatively decent idea. I, I can certainly see myself building multiple copters for the automatic mining. I just don't know how many times I'm like shove a ton of colonists and things in there. Let's say I go and just design a bunch of like specifically mining bots. Oh, that does remind me though. We have this replicator mine transfer input. Output. Okay. I don't think I think my person who died, I don't think I got their brain. How does this work? Like if I take a human brain and output it into a core, is this just going to override the core? In which case, this could give me a way to use these robot cores. Huh. I might have to check the wiki on that one. Unsafe, unsafe areas. Oxygen level is low. Oh, is this not being fueled with water? Uh, That's not great. Could someone go and... I mean, I have water. You got zeroed out. Oh, shite. Well, let's set you at a five right now. You got zeroed out as a priority? 
when we were box selecting some things. There you go. This is now going to get oxygenated. Well, that's not great. Okay. Uh, probably nothing else here is a problem. Although I can move this storage to here. I might change this look a little so we can fit another storage module there or something. Or we might just do something else with this space. But for now, this seems fine. There's a lot of manufacturing goes on here, so keeping these distances short seems good. We had uh, some complaints about lack of transistors, which is still not happening. Silicon wafers and copper wires are not being delivered here. Oh no, I've, I've met the target amount. For a while it wasn't happening, but I think I just had an overcue of things. Now our wanted amount is there. Yeah, we were sitting on zero transistors for a while and no one was delivering the goods. And I was like, oh, I'll just be patient. Just now I stopped being patient, but it looks like we're actually fine. All right, mining out some iron, which is still good. These, you don't have any connections, which is kind of reasonable. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break one of these connections. I'm interested. Oh, you had redundant connections, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm gonna go and just build another one of these connectors over here. These things took some damage from being smashed by an asteroid, which is making me think about some of these buffer things as well. And this is another one of those things that needs gold wires too. How's our power access currently? Uh, consumption, 741, renewable energy. Yeah, so we're 130 above. It's certainly not enough to run a gold extractor unless I turn off a bunch of other things. It's interesting that we haven't actually progressed. If I were to look at just arbitrarily GPU, energy datoids, is it possible that we're stopping too early? Oh, 20 over there, okay. Might just be a shortage of input goods. Well, no, might be a shortage of deliveries. Might want to change some of these to batches. You know what? I think we will. I think we're really going to make use of more batch stuff here. Because I think our hauling is being a bit overwhelmed. Silvering did here. Yes, yeah, so we got lots of stuff. To, yeah, we have no water currently. Hold on, hold on, hold on. In the recycler, which is set to produce water. We definitely have ice. We have tons of ice. Yeah, it's being great. I think we might need, we might need another recycler. First, I'm gonna make this a high task priority. Let's make sure the water is being processed as quickly as possible. Yeah, because the water's being consumed incredibly quickly here. Waiting for it to be loaded. But someone's been assigned to the task, presumably, because it's showing there, yeah, because there's task calling. Gordon's on it. There we go. Next one is going. I think we need a second recycler. Okay, maybe we just had a bit of a backlog, which is about to be satisfied. But in the interest of safety, let's plop down another one of these right away. I mean, two got consumed. It didn't go down. I think there's something else I can process at the recycler as well. So it might not be the end of the world to have two. Yeah, I think keeping this high priority is good because it feels like running out of water in our spaceship is something that could be really bad, especially since we use that as our source for oxygen. 20, it might, it might be okay. Is the shuttle all done? No, no, mining iron some more, okay. A weird little gap here, that's fine. Yeah, you are waiting for lead plates. Oh, and we lack CPU again. I hope we have everything we need to... This, yeah, that's the better one. What do you need? I don't know, no, we don't have gold wire. What I could do is just disassemble some stuff that maybe I could live without for now. Tell you what, let's disassemble these solar panels and that connector, and that connector, because I don't think these are going to be needed anymore. That should hopefully give us a little bit of capacity. And this. We definitely don't need the power. I'm going to do this, yeah. CPU grid is recovered. Unfortunately, we're not going to get any gold from these things, which is too bad. 
but that's okay. I'm going to leave this job here. Do I recall the shuttle? And we go look to see if we can just buy some gold wire. I think we have to do that. We have silver to sell. Uh, we might need to find somewhere to sell the silver before we can afford the gold wire. But yeah, I'm going to just manually call this back right before it finishes on its own. And we'll call that good enough. All right, come on. Yep. Good. Uh, unconfigured. Oh, is the other recycler? Um, so you can make water from ice, which we're doing. You can also make water from bio waste, which we have tons of. Okay. I'm going to set the same target like that. Okay. We'll use a combination of ice and bio waste to make water. Whenever we dip below 200, presumably both these jobs will start and that's okay. As we are accumulating more and more bio waste. You know, we're going to recycle our pee. Seems very reasonable. Did we visit this station? We don't have enough engine power. Our ship is currently to have identified objects appeared somewhere in the ship. Um, it did not trip my alien detection sensor, which means I'm assuming it might be down here somewhere. Well, I'm not seeing it. Not that that means much, but I'm currently not seeing it. Oh, there's one. Is that not in range of my, my alien detections? All right, let's do that. Hopefully we get alien shell out of doing it. Oh, there it is. If I just unpaused for a bit, we would have gotten the detection up. Okay. That would have told me where to go. Um, yeah, let's just go and lighten the load. We're not hurting for material as badly anymore, but we're going to do this anyway. And if we keep an eye out over here, engine's too weak, so our target number should go down here as we deconstruct things. I wonder if I should go ahead and make our, our bedrooms, because these guys are going to complain about sleep. Part of me is like, I want to map out everything ahead of time, but that might simply be unrealistic. All right, let's assume I want to do the bedrooms over here. Okay. I'll be a little disappointed if the copters don't fit properly, but we'll see. This is our midline of our ship. Do I want to put a special floor down to make our midline more obvious? X marks the spot. Oh, yeah because I went over an empty spot. There we go. Okay, so that's the midline of our ship. So uh, these are, I think they're just gonna be, I guess it did bring the new stuff. I thought I might've used the material in place, but I guess not. Now we can do this with interior wall and let's leave a three tile wide gap, right? If we're gonna do this, I assume there'll be some other area down here. This looks uncentered because this icon isn't in the middle, but yeah, that'll be okay. Um, well, let's figure out the bedroom blocks. So we'll assume steel beds. Do pairs. People can have a roommate. I think there'll be a vent between the rooms. Doesn't, well, I might move this wall. I mean, then am I annoyed about this? I don't know, I could always move this back to. Because obviously we've got something like that and I'll put the vent back in. Maybe, do I do a one tile wide hallway over here? It's really narrow. Or do I make a two tile wide hallway over here? Maybe I just do that. Okay, cancel. Whoops. Deconstruct, not cancel. There we go. Let's try this again. So it's, I guess it's literally just a bed every other click. Probably to there. Yeah. And then. And that's a door. Yeah. 
and then it goes like that. Yes, okay. And then I just want a simple, yeah, a simple door. Click, click, click. And then the interior vent here and here. Yes, now they're gonna want a light in there. Let's not go reinforced light wall. Boom, boom, boom. And this will need oxygen and heat. Which we can put under the floors. I suspect if we know about capacity. No, it doesn't define small areas, blah. It doesn't define anything about with increased heating rate. I like that it doesn't use floor. I'm I suspect if we made a bedroom block over here. All right, let's say so in four. And boom and boom. And let's do interior door here and here. Now that's pretty narrow. One oxygen, one heat. This is the oxygen, right? Uh, I don't know. I think I clicked heat for the second one, but now I have doubts. Oxygen, heat. And then I guess instead of having vents in between the rooms, I just have all these vent from the hall. And you'll need some light in here as well. I guess I can't copy a floor that doesn't exist yet. Boom, boom. And, oh, and a power block. What I'm hoping is after this is done, I'm just going to be able to copy this whole design block. Oh, I guess I should get the rest of the beds. Well, and some of these are going to want to be moved. So let's get this constructed. Oh, I also need, silly me, lights in each one of these rooms. I wonder if we're using windows would let light through. I mean, one assumes it does, but I don't have a vented window. But you know what? Yeah, let's do it this way. Okay, those vents are already okay. Yeah, all right, let's do it this way. We'll let this block get created and get the auction, then we'll move the beds, because otherwise people can't sleep here. Although right now people can't get here either. Um, that's, put an in, that's an interior vent, but I can't keep grabbing. A door here. And just for, just to say, I'm gonna get oxygenation and a heat in this little hallway. Probably some things will change with it. But just to get this little block functional. So that way people will be able to come in and out of this area. Now we can do things with vents as well. But the thing is like, I don't have an vent linking this room to this room because this room is big enough that I feel it's gonna need its own oxygen and heat regardless so and this boot room is big enough that if we want people to be able to move things through without suits i'm also assuming the heat in fact i put down two heater blocks just because it felt like it was a long room and it might need it the heat does like we only have one heater in this room and it has properly reached the corners well it's not 21 degrees right this thing is not quite fully heating the room but it's calling it good enough so if these things have their own oxygen and heat generation I feel like why put a vent where if there is a hull breach, then it's also going to drain the oxygen from over here. On the other hand, maybe because the vents don't drain instantly, maybe it would slowly drain to here enough to keep things safe. I don't know. Yeah, these beds are like, well, I can't. No one can sleep here. It's like, yeah, no, you're right. Hold on. Settle down. It's going to be OK. Oh, yeah, this is the same priority over here, but that's all right. And then, yeah, we got this slight little ridge right down the midpoint of our ship. 
which seems good. We'll have to put some lights and stuff over here too. But This is just sort of cosmetic, but also it is actually gonna be helpful from our point of view to know where our symmetry line is. Yeah, the bedroom blocks are gonna use it. See, now this isn't closed. Look how dark it gets. It's so weird. Although these areas, despite being apparently a little brighter, right? It still says, light, well, here's light 68%, light 0%. Why is it getting 68? What's it, what light is it in range of? Maybe just some of these sort of going through walls? I don't know. And again, there's the light, the, the, the actual glass there. And yeah, maybe with the glass, we don't need a light in every single room. But people do get a mood lit boost from being lit. I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> being lit. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen when they're asleep. But yeah, we'll we'll see what happens here. Yeah, I guess when I was doing the priority things, every time I would priority over the auction, it probably really messed with those numbers. How's our water? Okay, good. Now, it could just be that we've, you know, fixed the backlog or made sure there's a task priority. Maybe we need two of these to go. Maybe we don't need two of these to go, but we'll set it up. I don't know if we should prefer one versus the other. I don't know if there's more things we can do with bio waste. Pause. We can create biofuel from it as well. Yeah, I don't know if we want to prioritize one over another, but we got what we got. Done. These doors, see these door, door needs a transistor. Yeah, no, we burn through these transistors very quickly. I'm going to increase the target to like 100. Like everything needs a transistor, including a lot of these other sub processes. We actually might need two of these making transistors. This thing here, which was a one time job. Yeah, I'm going to go and da, 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 copy. Paste. We're going to get you to also make transistors for us. And then otherwise we need gold wire. As I say, wasn't I going to move? But yes, we had the ship too heavy. Okay, we need to trim off a little bit more, which is kind of what I expected. And our intention is to go and dismantle the entirety of the ship at some point. Yeah, that's one of our thrusters. I'm going to actually maybe I will cancel that. The idea being. We're going to move this to the ship. Now, I don't know where we're going to want these maneuvering thrusters, but I'll put you here for now. Of course, I could just build more thrusters, but I think that that would be overkill because we don't need them. And we're not going to need them later. That can go away as well. And the floor underneath it, too, which will have to be done for a double click or a separate click in this particular situation. Some of these things still haven't been built. Yeah, it's just task priority one. I wonder if it remembers an old task priority. I think I'm, I, I asked that before. It feels like it might. We won't rebuild that maneuvering for our store for now. And before we leave, we know we want to pick up all this debris. So we'll let this deconstruction happen, pick up debris, and then, well, leave. We're just going to the space station to see if they've got any gold. Reinforced glass. Tougher than a regular window. You know what, I'll just click whatever if oh there's more is okay improved reactor now that might be something that comes up also needs gold wires and then needs to leads to the nuclear reactor needs nuclear fuel which we don't have an infinite supply of I wonder though if the reactor by any chance might be able to oh that was I think just supposed to be some placeholder stuff oh well I was figuring out these hallways um might be able to generate enough power to run a thing that picks up more uranium and sort of a self-sustaining thing. I mean, it's not violating the laws of thermodynamics. The stuff is just, you know, we're just, we are collecting more material. Incoming stasis pod. Well, let's deal with whatever's in here. Control, select. You don't have to come too close, right over there. Control, select in here. Oh, they could be face hugger. I'm not sure if they are. Oh, they are crawlers. Yeah, well, I don't like my people, but they the people here have guns, so it's not so bad. Um, we'll at least select, specify the attack. I might manually keep my people further away here. Hopefully they are engaging. Yeah, okay, yeah, they are shooting. Good. Yeah, just don't get close to the crawlers. Don't get face-huggered. 
Okay, that looks good. Select the colonists, release all them. Awesome. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go and dispose of all these. I don't think we're gonna go and remove body parts or anything like that. And then you, you just get butchered. That's gonna be okay. Stasis pod. I could relocate. Dude, is there any reason? Is there anything I can do with it? No, and if anything, we deconstruct it because I think we get some gold out of that, right? We saw the construction material. And we could use some gold wire. Hey, these things are still con complaining about the oxygen. Now. Oh! Shit. Actually. I built the wrong thing. I've probably done that a few places. Yeah, like here too. Oh my god. All right. Uh, Atmos. It's not coolmatic because I think, yeah, these things are the pair. Oxygenmatic. Okay. And this one here. Let's um, make this high priority. I keep hitting O for the priority. What game is it that O lets you change the priority of something? Because every time I want to increase the priority of a task, I hit O and then start clicking. I don't know. Is it against the storm? It's not RimWorld. That's not a thing. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, so we've got tons of water again now. That's good. We can see it fine. Yeah, see the transistor count. Even with two of these, you've also been set to... Oh! Oh, I never batched these. First of all, I should... Um, 100 per batch. Honestly! Oh, copper wire. Hold on. Is that our problem? Okay, we have copper plates. Okay, so first of all, you're not being batched. Let's make you into a batch job. And yeah, the transistors as well. So a single batch of the copper wire was gonna make 50. It goes pretty fast as well. Okay, that's good. Um, let me actually set you a target of 100. And 20 per each of these, yes. And then do the batch, we get 100. That's why we keep running out of transistors. The fact that you get so many transistors per job tells you that transistors get used by a lot of things. And then we'll set up a huge number there's three, but I think that might only be in storage because I think we just finished a batch of 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and then, yeah. It was sitting on the floor for a while before that count got upgraded. Okay, so we have lots of those. And now the oxygen is diffusing into these rooms. Now, that's an interesting point. This vent is further away. I think it will diffuse in there, but I think I might go in and invert this like so. Yeah. Now, at some point, this room goes away. In fact, it might be the time to do that now, because I think I want to double up on this bedroom block. But the other thing I can do is move these beds in here now. Now, every time someone goes through here, we are losing some oxygen. This could be an airlock, or what we do is just build build a hallway in here that's kind of kind of count as an airlock. Um, yeah, these things aren't as insulated as some of the outer walls, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna do this like that. Airlock this. This looks okay. So if I hold Control. Oh, does it not pick up the walls? I think it's only doing the objects inside of it. Which doesn't include the floor either. Control shift? No. Control alt shift. Alt. No, so control lets you copy all the objects, which still saves us some clicks, but maybe not quite as many as we'd hoped. What there's, I feel like with every other quality of life thing this game has, there's probably a way to copy an entire design like this in bulk, and I just don't know what it is. Oh yeah, I gotta remember I've gotta double click because the first click just cancels the construction, which is fine. As long as I remember it. 
and right the windows which i don't know if it's really doing anything for us but it feels good oh and then finally the lit floor and the temperature stuff where do i put the lights on this so oh cancel cancel Good, and then I suppose to save myself from making mistakes, copy the oxygenator. And then the heat matic floor, and then, oh yes, a door there. And I guess I won't build a door down here right now. I think we will have one. And fudge. Why didn't you guys warn me that I was doing this wrong? Stupid off by one errors. Bunk, like that. Cancel you. Try this again. That goes there. Door there. Vent. Window. Okay. The connector, which didn't get copied. I thought it got copied last time, but I don't know. Heater. Oxygen. All right, I think I got it this time. Fingers crossed. You guys are complaining about lead plates for the airlocks. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Did I do a scan for lead? I feel like I did do. But out of paranoia, let's see what we can do over here. Can I move the ship? That's a little annoying. Weapon locker, beverage locker. Okay, that's fine. But the weapons are just lying around. Do I not have a weapons locker? Oh, you're full. Well, I don't know where we're going to put our lockers. Um, cancel you. I'm gonna build two. And then... Beverage cooler. Build two of those over here as well. Hopefully those things don't need anything. Random short circuit. Well, building that. Okay. And a fire. Oh, and someone gets to pop out. 18-year-old who can do everything and is fine. You can't social. I don't know if that's a problem. You actually, you like, you're not good at cleaning yet, but you do like it. You know what, Ben? Slow pooper psychopath? Thrilled when they see good dead bodies. You know what? That happens a lot. Ben, welcome to the party. I'm hoping your AI alignment gets up because I, I will be looking forward to tuning some of your behaviors later. Okay, so, right, we're waiting for this to get moved. And possibly just this? Oh, yeah, the CPU shortage, which just still didn't get built. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know that we have an easy solve for that. Can I do the tier one CPU building? Without needing lead? Yes. Rip this material. Build those, which might be a little more than we need, but that's going to be okay. We are going to be adding some more things to the grid. I mean, at some point, this goes away. That's true, but... Uh, this freezer is basically full, too. Um, just plop one in here for a second. Yeah, no lead. It's pretty sure. Get these connected up so that everything works. And, okay, that's been brought in. I don't think there's anything loose hanging around the outside now. And if we take a look over here, we can fly. Just barely, but we can. Let's see if you've got any gold wire. Or gold. Or gold ingots to sell us. Or at least can purchase some... 
this can purchase some uh, silver from us, which would be nice. Maybe we'll get lucky in all the above. Be a metallurgical station, actually. That's what we want. So I can buy gold wire, and I may. In fact, I've got some money, so I may as well do that. Um, we've got a bunch of this. We've got a bunch of this. I think these are all fine. Okay. You sell ingots. Um, I think I'm going to sell all these uniforms. And we, we might keep one. That's one track suit. We got tons of space suits. Okay, well, that's good, because I was worried that some people weren't wearing spacesuits, but that's apparently not the problem at all. We still want people in jet suits. Jet suits and armored helmets. I'm kind of leaving... Yeah, one of each of these, just to make sure. And then, there we go. You do buy silver. You... But I just got an achievement. Oh! Sorry, in another game. Hang on a second. Oh yeah, you have no cash. Let's see. Well, then you know what? I may as well buy out like kind of all your stuff here. Including the gold ingots. Now that's going to cost. Maybe not the platinum. Maybe not the rest of this. Unless we can't necessarily get infinite amounts of. Um. So now, silver ingots... There we go. We bought some gold wire. Yeah, four. And we bought some gold ingots that we can turn into more wire. Done. Okay, that's going to be very helpful. CPU stuff is done. Lacking materials is still gold. And lead. Oh, you didn't have lead, did you? No. Now, I'm sure I can probably grind the rocks into lead or wherever that thing gets done. But, now there may have been some more mining over here, but let's go ahead and exit this planet. When we exit the planet, we're also going to use the probe, which I keep forgetting to use. Well, I don't know if we may have been in the same system the whole time. So now I can click on the probe. I can click launch. And I guess I launch you at a planet. I'm going to launch you to Margolita. Launch probe. Okay, so you don't select the probe. It's you select the system and you do this. But the thing is, having done this, I guess it saves me from visiting in person, but... And yeah, it did launch. It's not there. It's not going to get reloaded. I don't see very much of value in doing this. Was the probe something that exists before they came up with the scanners? The copper is interesting. Because that's actually not something we end up with a lot. We already know there's no lead or gold in this system. Do I just leave? What is this? Peyton Erebond? Is that the owner? I don't know. Let's travel to more space stations and see if we can sell more silver slash buy things. And then maybe we just jump to another sector. It's possible we'll like, there's like virtually no chance we ever find just random. Like, yeah, okay, we'll unlock you. That when you ever find random gold or lead. But I think it probably will happen. It's just unlikely. So we'll have to get a little bit lucky. We can buy a core here, which is good. I don't remember what's involved in buying cores, but they're a little annoying to get. I think we can build most of these. You know what? This is honestly, it's all cheap enough. And theoretically, they're gonna, yeah, they're nice, high quality condition. We're going to buy those. Battery cells feel like there was another one that can sometimes be a little annoying to get. We'll buy more gold wire. I'm going to buy all these coffee beans. Actually, I'm going to buy all these things, because why not? We'll buy some gold. Sure. Could maybe like buy the silver and then just process it. I don't know if that's that exciting. Maybe I should keep buying these drill upgrades. I'm, I'm wondering if these apply to copters as well. Do you buy? No, you don't buy our plates. I could sell you some raw silver. Actually, we have a ridiculous amount of raw silver. Oh my god. Okay, this moved way too much at once. That was with control. Oh no, that was with shift. Oh no, control. Shift. How much alt do? No, shift is the smallest and it's way too much. Arg. Can I hold this? No. There might be some combination of keys. 
that makes it like a smaller amount or, you know, it'd be nice to just a buy to their limit. Execute trade. Yeah, why don't we just jump somewhere else? Or no, let's do all these stations. That, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Still looking for that. I don't. It's possible that I missed it. I gotta remember. Look explicitly for lead. I don't. I didn't explicitly scan like search for lead here at the station. And it's making me wonder if like maybe I just didn't spot it. But okay, arm things, cells. Yeah, cores is another good one. I don't have a tons of that. That's, I think, something we make rubber out of. I kind of do like the idea of just buying the food, except maybe the survival meals. No lead. I'm actually, you know what? We should be buying uranium. That's something else we've run out of before. Metal drill upgrade here is nice and cheap. They buy various robot -y things, but we're not sitting on tons of any of it. Smallest amount is way too much. 50? 70? 100. And 60, 70. 172. Okay. And one more station. Okay, this is actually quite nice and productive. We got 42 of microchips. That might be something we need to... This is the microchip thing over here. You're making batches. You aim for 50 in batches of 10. I mean, I want to double up on you. Maybe you're fine. Maybe we want to leave more of a buffer. I don't know. Hello, station. I would like to trade with you. I will buy a mini core. Sure. You know what? We'll buy the microchips after all. Um, I don't know about biofuel. The uranium and the nuclear cells. I know they're expensive, but it's not really something we have an easy way to make. Maybe I should buy these jet suits. Yeah, and the armored helmets. I think there might have been some of the old one, but... Oh, I don't need plant fiber. Lead plates! Perfect. You know what? I'll buy the gears, because why not? Like, I would actually kind of like... I don't think there's a mode for that. Um, I was going to say, where it showed us how much I have, in addition to how much they have for sale. You know what? I'll buy the plastic, because we don't have a ton of it sitting around. Energy efficiency. We can make reactor upgrades, but we can't do the energy efficiency ones. I was going to say, you, sell, you can sell me uh, silver ingots. Oh! That's all we have left now. Okay. Well, sure. Okay. We still need to work our way up to telescope. Which telescope? We have the prereq. We do have system scanning. We need six quantum datoid. It's phytobiotic quantum. You know what? I'll do the thing where I take a screenshot with a snip tool and open it in the other window. And then every now and again, the snip tool doesn't actually open for whatever reason. I don't know why. That's... Hmm, then I have to open my desktop, open my navigation bar, then or my notification bar, and then click on it. The Windows things. So, um, Windows Shift S. Food damage device. Someone left an unfinished bread on teleporter and the crumbs fell inside and triggered a short circuit. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, but then I don't have the names of the things. And I don't know the icons. I think Quantum was one, which I think I build here. No. Yeah, this is just a nuclear. Oh, does Telecope need 22 nuclear datoids? No, 22 Fido. Which is set as a goal. Good. All right. And then 30 biotic, which is now a goal. 
And then, yeah, I guess it does remember the spot. Quantum. I... Do we make quantum? Or is that on my list? Oh, it is there. It is from the quantum data harvester. Unlocked. Oh, hold on. I looked at the wrong thing. No, this is, hmm. Okay, I know what we can do. If I go here, here, telescope. And then control here. Research black holes to unlock. I have five of them, presumably from quests. Black hole quantum thing, and it is bookmarked. I need 12 nuclear datoids for that. Oh, no, I could just do it. As long as I got to 12 nuclear datoids, I could reach there. Oops. No, 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 no. Uh, it needs lead plates, which I now have. It needs enriched uranium, which I now have enough of. Okay. In theory, we are going to be able to research our way up to the telescope tech. Oh, I have a new uh, particle collector. Um, well, I guess we're going to keep you on carbon, which we need and is cheap. We are converting some of our coal to carbon. Interestingly enough, coal isn't something I can pick up here. I guess because it's not um, a basic element made from star stuff, although neither is water, but I guess we can sort of excuse water floating around in space. Everything else is an element here, right? Um, I don't know what quartz is made out of. Quartz is definitely not an uh, element. Now, some of these things might be, um, I was going to say molecular arrangements of elements, but all molecules are arrangements of elements, but I meant like of a single one, right? Like we might not be picking up elemental carbon here. We might be picking up some sort of graphite or something. That's entirely possible. Food damage device. That is. Oh, okay. Hold on. I understand the issue here. It's sitting here, not being carted away. Perhaps. Oh, also. You really don't need a floor. I was going to do this. But this could be part of our long range connection grid as a backup. Or maybe I'll just use this one because they'll chain relatively okay with one another. And then. Connect to there. This one here. I'll build a copy. Click on this thing, auto connect, and then this thing, and auto connect. These things are going to be sealed, powered. Delivery is waiting over there. We'll get a couple of lights in here. But yeah, we'll get the second bedroom block, which means I could go and trash the old, because that's 16 bed. We do have 17 colonists now. Planning. Rooms. I was just wondering if there's a way to copy entire blocks. I don't know. But I'm thinking I'm going to double up this, this block, which will give us enough for... These are 6, 12... Oh, wait, yeah, duh. Hold on, I was thinking this, I've got six bedrooms, but there's two beds per bedroom. So I've got enough beds for all my colonists currently. I was still wondering about doubling up this block to be ready for more. I might just want to leave it as a hollow shell, but kind of reserve that space, which I think still might be what I do. And then I could consider grouping this all up. I don't like that there's no, that this will get some auction at some point by virtue of the fact that these doors will go. Ooh, micrometeoroids, that's tricky. I think I'm just going to pause here for a sec. Um, we could also just like leave these open, let things throw nat flow naturally. I don't know if this is like, I wonder if this is like the power generation or the, yeah, like the reactors and things where it only consumes stuff if it's actually being used. Now, I don't mind it consuming power so much, 
but you know, avoiding using extra water. Like I'm just wondering if I put extra oxygen and heat generations in here. Is this gonna be just materially overkill? Because it feels like leaving these doors open all the time, even though they're not airlocks, could still represent just a certain amount of extra danger because they can still act as buffer for various things. Wow. We definitely got hammered here. Furnace is missing raw gold. That's fine. You got that. Stupid micrometeoroids. That's not bad. See, the reinforced walls, I think, are doing their job better against micrometeoroids. That seems to have tanked that. You see, you're still complaining about too cold. Now, we do have the extra heater here, which might help. Yeah, no, I mean, it is very chilly. Maybe we do vent into this, especially now that we've got the stable temps. It's interesting that you're too cold, but you're not. But it is fairly chilly and maybe uncomfortable. Oh, even in here, it's quite cold. Now, these walls, insulation's 90, as opposed to these being 99.8. Okay, these interior walls are... No, that might be a big part of the issue over here. Because it, because these are interior walls that are actually exposed to the outside right now. The solution may simply be to use not necessarily reinforced walls, just proper walls. Regular ship walls. Let's say we do. Oh, I might still build another bedroom block immediately adjacent to this one. But for now, let me do this like that and plant some airlocks. This is going to be a wall that definitely doesn't have a future for us because it's going to be in the way for something. We'll slap some airlocks down around this and then. Put a series of heaters in here. Not even necessarily about the auction, although maybe I will go ahead and just plop down some auction generation in here. This I'm less concerned about because it's going to be less drainy, but just to keep this relatively warm and then the heat will be shared between these two and that's going to be OK. These things are only getting cold because they're being exposed to the like the cold temperature of space way over here. Yeah. OK, that's going to be good. Let me put a cut in here, folks. We're going to pick this up again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.